text, ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals, they shall be of fine flour, they shall be bacon with leaven, they are the first fruits unto the Lord. Leviticus 23, 17, Commentary, verse 17, And ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals, out of their habitations in the land of Canaan, and not out of those without the land, as Jarki observes, and not out of all of them, as Ben Gersom remarks, though the Vulgate Latin version has it, out of all of our habitations, but wrongly, and indeed out of no one particular habitation, because it was at the public expense, but they were brought from some part of the country or another, even the quantity of two tenth parts of an ifer, or two omers of wheat flour made into two loaves, which were to be, and were waved before the Lord, and hence so called, and are the same with the new meat offering, or rather bread offering, made of the new corn, in the preceding verse, so jarky. They shall be of fine flour, of wheat flour, the finest of it, of which all meat or bread offerings were made, and this was particularly on account of the wheat harvest, and therefore it was proper that the finest of the wheat should be used on this occasion. See Gil on Leviticus 2, 1, each loaf or cake, according to Maimonides, was seven hands breadths long, four hands breadths broad, and four fingers high. They shall be baked with leaven, the common meat offering was unleavened, part of which was burnt on the altar, where no leaven might be burned, Leviticus 2, 4, 5, 11, and from hence it may be concluded that no part of these loaves was to be burned, but the whole of them fell to the share of the priests. They are, the first fruits unto the Lord, which he claimed as his, and gave unto his priests, and it was but right and just he should have them, as an acknowledgment of all coming from his hands, and as expressive of gratitude for them, and for the sanctification of the rest, hence this is called the feast of the first fruits of wheat harvest, Exodus 34, 22, 